I done seen a lot of things, walk through hella rain, I know struggles. I'm just trying to get to the top, niggas talk a lot, they don't know nothing. I've been working every day, trying to get paid, I know hustle. Never switch on my brothers, I get a bag on my brothers. I've been working every day, trying to get paid, I know hustle. I done seen a lot of things, walk through hella rain, I know struggles. I'm just trying to get to the top, niggas talk a lot, they don't know nothing. So I stay with my brothers, I never switch on my brothers, never change on my brothers. So I stay with my brothers, oh, so I stay with my brothers. I'm just trying to get a bag of my Coach Plays, performance trainer at the Sanctuary Performance Studio. Um, grew up in Montgomery County, Walkersville High School. I'm um, with the Hargrave Military Academy. Played D1 ball at Kent State, three-year starter. Captain all-conference, all the good stuff. Um, big injury before I got into the NFL, and that's just the way it went. My job right here today is literally get you guys through this camp, flying around fast with a high, high, high level of energy. And you guys are out here to compete. You guys are out here to compete to get a spot to win. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Come on, get back, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, good. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If you keep winning, you stay over here, ready? Yeah, good. Good. If you keep winning, you're over here, ready? Yeah, I'm gonna need. Go! Come on, move, 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 move. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Come on. Get down and go, get down and go, get down and go. Good. Got him again. I feel like I'm an impact to the team because a lot of people look, look up to me, not just from varsity to the guys that don't start, but like on JV2. You have like a lot of like linebackers on JV talking about, oh, well, Clay made this head, Clay made that head. First year was on varsity. Uh, I didn't start though, but I was on special teams. And like, I was like, all right, I gotta be serious with this if I like actually want to get a scholarship because I knew my mom and dad don't have money to pay for our college. So I was like, I was like, all right, no matter what, no matter who, no matter how strong that, I'm gonna do my best and practice to try and start before the end of the season. Clint O'Kelly, up next. Really? Two. All right. Dropping down, hand low. Okay. I'm out. Okay. One, two. I'm touching, okay? We need to get back in two steps. Bam, bam. Touch again. I'm out. Okay, get around. Three in. As time went by practices, I was like the practice hero. Like, I was always out there. Like, you see Coach Brown talking to the other coaches saying, like, Clint is, he keeps going. He's not stopping. So they decided to give me a shot on, uh, Defense, linebacker. Finish, 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 finish. He tried. Who's the older one? The one in green? After that, I just started watching like a lot of football in the weight room 24 7. I got bigger, got stronger, got faster, more aggressive, went to uh, camps and stuff like that. Breaking down, you were going to rotate that way, okay? You will rotate out that way and you will hit the post. That way? Yeah. Left quarterback hits the post, this quarterback hits the corner. Got it? Right. Say go. Come on. Back, 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 back. Hang in, hang in, hang in. Out of there. Go. Go, 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 go. Let it go. Get up. Good. Let's go. Catch up. Catch up. Hey, who the older? You about one? You about one? Like y'all twins or y'all just older? No, I'm older. You older? Straight up? Yeah. So if he beats you, then what? I'm better than him. I'm better than him. Yeah, you about to win it, We went like two times. You didn't catch none. Huh? You ain't catch none. But that, that, this guy, we talking about right now. He said he got We talking about right now. He said Let's go, let's go, let's go. Brother versus brother. Last one. Last rapper one on one. We're going seven on seven. Let's go, D. Let's go, D. Well, my dream is to have a nice house uh, with a pretty ass wife. Everything I could ever ask for uh, with like four kids or three kids, you know. Just living like perfectly, having nothing to worry about. Mom fine, dad fine, brother fine. You know, just stress-free. 
basically. It's just stress free, a stress free life. If you want to make plays, then you'll be on hook. I'm saying you're doing it for more. If you want to make plays, then you'll be the one last, last to practice doing all the extra routes and getting stuff done so that you can make uh, so you can make the plays you make doing that little extra work or focusing on the little detail or paying attention to what the coach is saying. That's on you. You know what I'm saying? That's on you. You really got to go get it. There's no, like, I can't, you can't be lazy, you know what I'm saying? Especially not coming out of the middle. You can't, you can't be lazy at all. You got to be, like, the hardest, go getting this, you know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing stopping me type of mentality. You can't have nothing else. You're from the middle. You know what I'm saying? There ain't a lot coming out of there, right? How many guys come out of there? Where's the other school? There ain't a lot, right? There ain't a lot. But y'all got a chance. I got talent. Y'all balled out here today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all did your thing. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta keep it behind it. You know what I'm saying? Understand that. Understand that. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if y'all got, all, all, got faith in that, but all all if you got faith in God, all things are possible. You know what I'm saying? You got faith in the man of stage, real talk, all things are possible. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta believe in your heart that whatever you're setting your mind to, you're going to make happen. At the end of the day, it's all up here. All this is up here. Everything that you're doing out there is up here. You can train yourself to do whatever. I said I gave y'all all free pass, I expect to see y'all in the same before the season happens. Make it happen. Let me help y'all with something. Let me help y'all. Out of ring of a fourth, actually a loss of a yard on the play. It'll be fourth down and 12 from the Blake 14-yard line. Okay. Reyes in pump formation for the Denver. Right. That's where you are. Number 13, Bryce Hamilton made the and stop for Blake. Fourth down and one. From the 32. Go for it! Oh! Taylor's pass completes the number 81. The thing that I was so thankful for, because I grew up in a single parent home also, and I grew up with a mom, and so I was, I wanted my, I said, especially if I have boys, like I want them to have a strong male in their life. I want him to be involved. I want them to feel that confidence that I know you can only get from having a dad. My son is very confident, my oldest son, Michael. He has a confidence that I know he wouldn't have if it was just me and him. I know he would be a sweet boy and he would be a good boy, but he wouldn't have that same confidence to believe in himself. He would be a mama's boy, he would. And so Michael to me is the best father. He's amazing. Mikey. So you run up fast, but then you have to slow down, okay? And then watch where he goes, and then you go get him. Do you understand? Get him next time, all right? It's, I'll compare it to when I was a coach's wife when he played, I mean, when he coached arena football. So it's very different to be a coach's wife of a high school team than it is of a professional team. And the difference for me is that it's bo both of them are crazy. It's a lot of sacrifice on my part and on our kids' part. Um, it's a lot of time away. It's a lot of his mental energy not not here with us sometimes. His focus is not present on what's going on here. And I have to remind him, okay, you're home now. I know you have a lot going on, but we have to be part of this day too. Um, those things are similar. That happened when he did coaching before and it happens now. but. The difference for me as a wife is that I I am more bought into this than I was when he was a coach in the arena football league because to me that's that's entertainment. But for these kids, you it's really more study. about character, their future, their opportunities. It's more about investing in them than it is about people coming to pay and watch you play. emotion on the part of George Zimmerman. He's just shot somebody dead. Are there tears? Is there emotion? North Street, which is a very big avenue here in Baltimore. Looking at live pictures out of Charlottesville, Virginia. This is 
where violent clashes have broken out between white nationalists and counter protests there. Joining me on the phone right now to give us a sense of what's going on. When people like yourselves turn on television and you see those people taking the knee when they're playing our great national anthem, to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. scenarios could be, Winner's Mill was a must, must, must win. We get close to the six, no officials. So then we're like 15 minutes to kick off. I said, okay, let me put a call in. We weren't getting the call back. Kids are focused, locked in, ready to roll, and there's no rest. So normally it'd be like at least a couple refs, like maybe a couple refs late, but there was no rest. Both of us are WMHS. So what WHMS school did they go to? Winter's Mill and not Rockets Mill. Reggie Spears, he uh, called a guy, Al Ferrara, trying to get in touch with him. Like, there's no, there's no rest, there's no rest. I had both director of athletics talk to each other. And yeah, I think, I think my, my, my county supervisor was trying to get a hold of Montgomery County. All right, man, we're in panic mode. We'll, we'll try we to get this worked out. Yeah, I got it. I'll get this, I'll get the number, yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. You. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm right. Winners Mill coach was like, you know, can we reschedule it possibly? And I'm like, uh, let's do it, you know? I felt, I felt really good about this game. I wanna start the halftime show now. <laughs> An administrator, I don't know. It was kind of embarrassing. It made Watson Mill look bad. It made it look like we didn't have our stuff together. Um, we were disorganized. In the office trying to get a referee, trying to get a fish. <laughs> She's talking about bringing out halftime shows. She's talking about halftime. Which is, Bay is playing their last song right now. <laughs> yeah, I think they're out of music. <laughs> In all my years of coaching, I've never experienced. So to come out, stretched, ready to go, I think their mindset was ready at that moment in time. So to not have officials here, and you're ready, and then you have to take basically nearly a two hour break. And now they're just playing catch, and then they're playing games with each other. They start talking, they start going to talk to their families and their friends in the stands. The focus just went completely away. Pretty much figured that if we want to get referees here, they're going to have to come from games that already started. And so the ADs called each other and stayed on the phone. They were frantic. And when these games were getting finished in, in these other places in Silver Spring, I think over here at Northwest, they had to come from those schools after their games. Three officials confirmed on the way. Three officials confirmed on the way. So we had the officials in route, but the main thing was now that the, the kids were delayed over how it happened. After 30 minutes, I just felt weak. I had all the adrenaline pumping and all that, and everything just left me. As time kind of progressed, their muscles weren't as acclimated as they should have been. Like everyone was just thinking like, are we gonna, are we gonna play this game today? Are we gonna play it tomorrow morning? Then we got the big bosses on the phone. So both system uh, wide directors for athletics were on the phone and discussed that they were gonna play the game tonight. That's just piss poor defense. You got players. Fatigue, you got players with cramps, you got injuries. Now we had a couple athletes that went down for cramps two, three times during the course of the game. I already stretched it once. I can't keep stretching it all night. We were trying to give the kids potato chips and Gatorade just to get them with, you know, fuel them with electrolytes and salt and like asking for pickle juice and whatever, <laughs> whatever we can do to, you know, give these guys a quick fix. It's the four minute warning, four minutes till halftime. This is Glenn Acha. And he 
takes it in for a Falcons touchdown. Hey, hey, that's when you walk away. That's when you walk away. And you let the ref throw the flag at him. Don't turn around and try and punch him. This ain't the street, bro. I'm here, I'm here. We're already missing meeting because he's out of town for a family event. So we're already down one starting receiver. And now with D1 out, that's a whole, now we're down two starting receivers. Putting in Dejan, who again, great player, but not always the most focused in practice, doesn't know all the plays. Amadou, again, great player, but not the most consistent. And then David Vincent, again, great receiver, but not the best blocker. Relax, son. Check your attitude now. That forces Mark Kelly to make some decisions. It forces Coach Brown to call some different plays that he might call specifically. Um, but it takes away a lot of opportunities for us. We have to get creative. Injured Wolverine is number three, Anthony Rush. I've been working every day trying to get paid. I know how to jump for it and this kid jumped and she just so happened to be their linebacker and started running back so once he caught the ball you know he's a starting running back like he took that jump to the house immediately what came to mind was like like if he doesn't get his shit together we're going to lose this game <laughs> Interception, like that's okay, but you do the second one out, uh, that's okay too. But to make a third mistake, that's crazy. Grand's pass intended for Dejon Martin. He's intercepted. start seeing the kids absorb that doubt when you kind of see it in their body language walking off the uh, 
feel. Holding their head down. You don't hear it on the sideline. You got coaches kind of panicking what's going on. Kids are shuffling in and out. Um, I just had to take a step back and this doesn't look good. He don't know Eagle. He don't know Eagle. He don't know Eagle. Anthony! Oh, He doesn't know the defense, coach. Careful with the ball, sir. Careful with the ball. I didn't think we were out of it at all. Like, I know we didn't have any timeouts. Like, if we can just hurry, get the ball on the sidelines, go out of bounds. Effective puck manager, we can get to a point where we can take a 60, 70 yard strike, which Mark Hell can throw the ball that far. I mean, last year at Rockville, we hit an 80 yard touchdown to tie the game with 30 seconds left. So we've done it before. We just get in that zone. That means the first guy in get the tackle. Next guy go for the strip. Punch the ball out. Punch the ball. Hey, with your fist. If his arm comes off with it, well shit. Just, we, hey, let me sacrifice. All right. All right. Get the damn ball out. All right. Let's go. Hey, hey hold your own, bro. Don't go home hungry. Eat. Let's eat. Let's go, D. Get that ball back. You have the tight end, right? So shoot this way. Get back. Just like sparked the whole thing. Shut up, years playing, in my 12th year, I've seen like a lot of fear that year, some my year. But I have not seen any fear this year, so I was being proud. And I let them know, like, keep your heads up, like, it's not over. We good. We still got plenty of games left to get back. And then Markel had, like, he had said something. Take me! Then you got like the other captain, like me. He agreed with Markel at the time, like he was agreeing with him. And so you got like them against me, and then they're the captains, and I'm just pinned. So it's like, I kind of feel like once that happened, me and Markel got into that, it's like I feel like everybody like, turned against me at the moment, except for like, Demetrius. Demetrius the only one like understand, like him and Jordan, like we was like, yeah, like this nigga's wild, like how you sound to that hell. The boys left everything on the field, like everything. Uh, Jordan Mungin, he played both ways, and just I don't know, their effort was fantastic, I and mean, I was really proud of them for that. We uh, obviously we, we ended up losing a um, very close game at the end, and you know, kind of like the old Markel came back, and we it was an important game to him. 
Um, and I felt it was important game to the rest of the team because they actually spoke louder than they were. Hey, stop talking! Take a knee. It's very unfortunate. You okay? Jordan. You okay? I got him. I got him. You okay? You okay? You okay? It's very unfortunate the way that young man handled adversity. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. It's sad to me in a lot of ways because the effort that y'all gave tonight was courageous and unbelievable. It really, it, it means so much to y'all. It means so much, and I'm, I'm so proud of how hard you played tonight. We work too fucking hard. Bro. Hey, hey, we work hard. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Control yourself. What you gonna do? Are you going are you gonna link up together and continue to fight? You hear me? Yes, sir. Or are you gonna splinter apart and just ruin everything you've worked for since you've been in this program with me? You eat this and it motivates you. And you overcome adversity. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. You don't act like that. I hate to see when my team argue. It's like we brothers, we all go through the same thing. We all feeling the same thing. We can't, just cause we lose. Like I, I said, I don't care if we didn't win a game the entire season, I would stand by their side and. Every time we lose, it's cause of mistakes. It's not because we didn't bring it. It's not because we didn't do this, it's cause of mistakes. You gotta fix that shit, bro. Sure. It's right or now or never, bro. Like the season, what, what, how many games we got left? Four? Oh, four more games, bro. We've been working so hard, bro. So hard in that weight room. I love y'all, bro. Y'all understand how much I love y'all. I love this team. Like, y'all understand, bro, how much effort and time I put into this team. How much effort and time you put. How much time you put. How much time you put. Everybody doesn't know what you go through, bro. Everybody doesn't know, but I know, bro. I'm your brother, bro. I'm your brother. I'm all your brother, bro. We've done sweat with each other. We done cried with each other. We done fought with each other to, to break down and let the other team see us do what we did. It just, it was sad to me. Come on, bro. We got to fix this shit, bro. Bring it in, bro. I love y'all, bro. Love you, bro. Hey, rings on three. Family on six. One, two, three. Rings. Four, five, six. Family. Family. What happened after the game that I was kind of upset about was just thinking about Markel and what was happening with that and then with Anthony Penn getting upset. I just think it was such a close game that they felt it. Like they didn't feel it at the beginning of the game, but then having something that they thought was such a guaranteed win, something that they thought that they could just sleepwalk through and then have it fail, just really took them aback. He did great in school. He did great in practice. He jogged on and off the field. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what does that do to his mental? You know, mental. A yeah. kid that we were working for, he didn't step up to play all week long. Play both ways. People drop it like plasma. Yeah. Yeah. Play both ways. The, the, the dude made me cry, man. I had to walk away. He made me cry. It's hard for him. It's hard for him. I had never seen him cry. Sure. Are you in Jordan? Nope. You're raising one. You're raising one. That hurt me, made me lose respect for him as a man. Like, we just all fought. Just fought and fought and fought. And just walked away from it after it all was done. It's like you've been in the middle of a fight and then you just walk away while everybody else still fighting. It's, it's damn, 
type of punk for real. I don't really know. So y'all just had a meeting? No, y'all met. He was the first person to meet. Like, if they, ha like, had anything to say, that, that they could have stopped me instead of, like, waiting, instead of waiting for me to leave, like, leave the locker room. Like, they could have stopped me and said, said, we're about to have a meeting. But, I mean, you know, it's whatever. I mean, life, life goes on. You know, I think that was, that was, that was, that was, that was rock bottom, you know, where I really thought that, you know, this could really change the season.